In this video, I'm going to share with you a mind mapping software that is really quite unique because it's animated and better than that, you can use it for free. Okay, so here we are at the website of the people who make this mind mapping software. And as you can see on the screen, this mind mapping tool really is something else. So in this video, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you who makes this software so that you can go and get it yourself. Then I'm going to show you how I use this mind mapping tool. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you why if you're doing presentations of any kind, whether they are sales presentations or anything else, this is the tool you should be using. I'll tell you the secret behind this tool, why it's so effective and how it can help you make more sales. So let's get started. Here we are at the website. This tool is called The Brain and the website is thebrain.com. I'll mention the website again at the end of this video, so don't worry. But if you're going to go and check it out, then just pause this video, open up a new tab and go for it. That way you don't lose where you are. OK, so you can see here that there is a free download. You can actually download the software and use the free version and they have paid plans. But I've always used the free version and for me, it's worked like a dream. So let me show you the software in action. OK, so here I am launching the software. You'll see it appear on my desktop in a moment. And here it is. Now, when you first use the software, I think you have to create an account with the website. I did. And when you first launch the software, you'll see a login box on your screen asking you to log in. I logged in once and that's it. Every time I run the software now, this screen appears, so I am ready to get started. I don't need to log in again. Now, I've used this mind mapping tool over the years, but I had that on a different laptop and I remembered it recently because I have a popular video on another mind mapping tool, which I will put a link to in the description. And it's also part of this playlist and also a training series on how to use that tool, which you can also use for free. So I remembered about the brain and I decided to install it on this laptop. That was only a couple of days ago. And when you first install the software, it gives you 30 day access to the pro features. So I have those features now, but at the end of the 30 days, it will revert back to the free version, which looks the same, by the way, it just has some limits. So the first time you log in, you'll see this screen asking you to create a mind map. Now they call these brains. So at the moment I haven't created any brains. Okay. So I'm going to create a new brain and I'm going to call that horse. Okay. So this is going to be the horse brain. Now, as far as I remember, the reason this mind mapping software is called the brain is because it was inspired by the way the human brain stores thoughts and really has branches of information which can be connected. So that was the whole premise behind this. Now, let me make this full screen so you have a better view. And let's start with the right hand pane. You'll see here that there is a text panel. And if I click on that, you'll see that a menu appears there with extra items. Now, I don't usually use this pane here, this panel, but you could use it, for example, for things like clicking the checkbox and typing out different things that you want to do with your mind map. For example, if you're about to create a rather complex mind map, then you could map out all the steps. And then as you accomplish each step on your mind map, you can check that step like this. And that way keep tab of your progress. But as I say, I don't particularly use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my cursor over this line here in the middle. I'm going to click down and I'm going to make it small. Now notice on the top right hand side, you have two icons. If I click on that, 
a panel appears at the bottom with a timeline and the calendar. And that's in case you want to mind map events on a timeline. So that way you can create a timeline of events and add them all to your map. Okay, I'm gonna close that. Now I'm gonna click on this icon and you'll see that this opens up a new panel here on the right hand side. And this is really cool, watch this. You'll see a ton of items here and you can click any of these links and your mind map will change and new information will appear. So for example, if I click on brain themes, watch what happens. You have a video here that you can play and learn from and you have here different branches with different information. Now notice what happened just then. I clicked the undo and redo and the right video reloaded for me to now watch so I can learn how to undo and redo inside this mind mapping tool. Now, if we click on checkboxes, you'll see that the mind map changes and a new video loads. And if I click on images and videos, you'll see that a new video has just loaded. How super cool is that? You have information at your fingertips. This, of course, might take you a long time to get through, but the point is that you're not having to look for information on how to use this mind mapping tool anywhere. It's all here right in front of you. Okay, so here on the right hand side, you can see all these mind maps, which you can load by just clicking any of these links. But you'll also see my mind map, the one that I created moments ago. Now you'll notice a little toolbar here in the top left and if I click on this one for example, you'll see that I have different options for the layout. So if I do an outline, it will change it to that. If I do it to normal, it will change it to what it was before. And if I do it to mind map, it will change it to that. Now to see that in action really, we need to select a mind map that has a lot more information so let's click on this one, for example. And funnily enough, this is the mind map about layouts. So you could load this one, click on the video and learn about those layouts. But let's just select a more complex one. This one will do advanced concepts. And you can see that there is a ton of information here, but let's play around with the layouts. Okay, so this is the outline. This is quite neat and organized. This is the normal layout. And this is the mind map layout. Now, I actually prefer the normal layout. Let's face it, it's still a mind map, which is what we want. Okay, I'm going to close the panel on the right hand side and also hit the arrow at the bottom that points to the right hand side just to close the notes panel altogether. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is that you can click anywhere on this blue background and actually just hold and drag and move the mind map around. Okay, so here we are with our mind map and you'll notice that when you hover your cursor over the main node, all the sub nodes that are connected to the main node all light up like this, just like a brain. If I take my cursor away, you'll see that they go back to normal and this lights them up again. Okay, if I click on this node, you'll see that I can change the title there and I can change the color of the text. Now, in this main node, you'll notice that there is a blue bubble on the side and you'll notice that other nodes here, other sub nodes have bubbles as well. You can hover your cursor over that bubble and you'll see that a circle appears. I can click and hold down, move that out and create a new node. Now remember that this mind mapping software is inspired by the brain and that's why they called these mind maps brains and funnily enough they call these sub nodes thoughts. So it's asking me for the thought name. So I'm going to call this a thought. Now you'll notice that this new node called thought has one bubble up here and one bubble there and also one bubble there. This bubble, of course, connects this node to the main node. So we can use the other two bubbles to actually create new thoughts that stem from that thought. 
Now you can right click any node and get a pop-up menu which gives you a ton of extra functionality. You can create new bubbles. You can do a ton of stuff like duplicate the thought, capture an image, create a parent or a child. Let's click on create a child and you'll see what happens here. Once again, we are presented with the thought name box. So we can name this new thought. So I'm going to call this thought two. I'm going to hit enter. Now notice that we can't see the thought that we've just created, but that bubble is now a solid green. And that lets us know that there is a thought there. So with this one, instead of right clicking and choosing create a child, I'm going to just hover, click on the bubble and expand and create a new thought called thought three. I'm going to hit enter. Once again, you'll see that that bubble has now turned solid green. Now watch this. Look how cool this is. I'm going to click on thought, which is the first node that we created. And you can see what just happened there. Now the entire focus of the mind map is on thought and everything else has gone away. And now we can see the sub nodes that we created thought two and thought three. And if you think about it, that's pretty close to how the human brain thinks. We have all these thoughts, but when we focus on a thought, we don't think about everything else at the same time. Everything else goes away and we now focus on this thought, which we can expand. You'll notice that these sub nodes, thought two and thought three, also have little bubbles that you can click and expand into other thoughts. So this one will be thought four. Of course, you can call them whatever you want. This one is going to be thought five. Now, once again, we are looking at this thought, but we can now focus on thought two and that will expand into thought two. So now we are digging deeper and deeper into this thought. How amazing is this? Okay, so I'm going to click on thought, which was the parent thought, okay, or the parent node. And you'll see that from here, we can get back to advanced concepts, which will then take us back to the beginning where we have all the thoughts displayed. So for example, if we want to get started with basics, we would just click on the basics node and you can see that everything else has gone away. You can see the advanced concepts here. It's just turned into a small node and everything that is inside basics has just appeared on the screen. Now, if we want to focus on one of these thoughts or these nodes, for example, nodes and attachments, we can go to that and you see that everything again changes. Whatever you click on becomes the focus of attention. And to go back, once again, you click on the parent thought, which is basics. And from there, you click on the parent thought, which is the starting node or the starting thought. Now, one last thing I want to show you before I get into the real secret behind this software is this. If I right click on the desktop, you can see that there is a pop up menu with different things that you can click. You can also click on expand all and this will expand every node. So if you're creating a complex mind map, you can go back to the beginning, to the starting node, right click and click on expand all. And that will give you a big picture of your mind map. And of course you can zoom in like this. And all I did there was put my fingers on my trackpad and just expand. But you can do that by going to the menu and clicking on view and then using the zoom in and the zoom out function. So you can expand all the nodes and zoom in on whatever you want and you can see the big picture of your mind map. Okay, and this next thing you're going to love. You right click on the desktop, you go to brain theme and here you can tweak how things look to your preference. You can change the color of these things and you can also select pre-made themes like the classic dark blue. And this is my favorite. I'm going to close that and just see how beautiful that looks. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. 
Okay, so let me share with you now the real secret behind the effectiveness of this mind mapping tool when it comes to presentations and even selling. If you sell services or if you have to give presentations to explain something, then you can create a mind map and right click the desktop and select presentation mode. That in effect is a full screen. You can then use a screen recording tool. I use ScreenFlow because I work on a Mac. You can use Camtasia if you work in Windows. And there are a ton of other tools, including free tools that will record your screen. And I will be covering some of those tools in future videos. So you record your screen and you simply talk through the options on your mind map. Now think about this. The alternative is using something like PowerPoint or any other tool that has static slides. The real problem is that the longer the presentation is, the harder it becomes to keep the attention of the viewer. If you've ever had to sit through a 10 minute PowerPoint presentation, you know exactly what I mean. Well, imagine a 30 minute or a one hour presentation. Static slides are not going to do the trick for you. This tool, however, will hold the viewer's attention. And the reason is because of how the human brain works. When you use this mind mapping tool and you're talking through each option, each time you click on something, the whole screen resets. And this actually resets the attention of the person who's watching this. It's the way our brains work, of course. We are constantly assessing everything in front of us. If nothing moves, then that means that we are in no danger, so we relax. But if things start to move in front of us, we pay attention. Our brain wakes up. And that's precisely how and why you can use this software to mind map your presentation and hold the viewer's attention for as long as you want, as long as what you're presenting is relevant to the viewer. The other part of it, of course, is that it looks so good. It looks really good, let's face it. And speaking of attention, if you want to keep up to date with all these cool tools, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and that way you don't miss a thing. Now, if we flip back to the website, let me show you one last thing before you go. You'll notice that you can get the brain here that says free download, but also if you click on the store link here, You'll see that they offer different plans, but you'll see underneath all these plans that you can actually use the Brain Free Edition. And get this, unlimited thoughts, links and notes, web attachments, basic sync services, and the pro features for 30 days. Now this is what I was talking about. I'm using the free edition, but it has given me the pro features for 30 days because I've just installed it. But the important thing is to know that they do have a free edition for personal use only, of course. So you can start using that right now. So once again, the website where you get this is thebrain.com. And just a reminder that there are more mind mapping tools in this playlist. So make sure you check those out if you haven't already. That's it for now. Remember to take it easy and I shall catch you in the next video.